love this in the life of the Sheeta fight. I love this because one, it's incredibly demoralizing. Two, it's a lot easier than you would expect. And three, it puts you in a really advantageous position. Of course, you're already in a good position because you've got your opponents back. So I'm behind my opponent. How I got there, there's a million different ways you could have gotten there. Let's just assume it was a simple duck hunt. Wrestling duck, get behind, and just get, uh, get our arms around the waist. Using the gable grip here to control the waist, I want to immobilize my opponent's hips by pinching my elbows to my sides. Now as I take a corner, so I'm going to pick a side and take the corner by stepping around. I want to make sure my grip is tight. I don't want it slipping around. So grip tight, elbows to my side. I step around and I'm going to get my hips on his leg. Right here. Got to make sure that there's good contact here with my hips. Kind of like I'm sitting in a chair. This is what makes the lift easy. And I can lift guys a lot, a lot larger than this because I'm getting my hips under their hips. Right here, I'm going to pop and lift. Pop, lift. Return. Here I like to catch the far wrist for good control, get my hips in, and now you can start looking for ground and pound. All right, so let's say we get a takedown against the cage. Hold that, right in here. A lot of times guys will use their back to get up off the cage. We can start, so we can stay tight and get this grip. I might not be able to throw my boots in, but I can get to a position where I'm behind my opponent in this fight. Now he's trying to escape, my he's gonna be keeping my grip tight, my elbows tight to my sides, Step it off to the side, back return. Step off to the side, pat, boom. Get him away from the cage, catch the far wrist. Now you can start looking to do damage. Here, here, and ever fits. This far wrist control is really dangerous. Best part about it, it's incredibly demoralizing. Do that to someone two or three times, they're not gonna wanna stand up anymore.